the decision to have the canopy blown to templates against producing a cavity mould for financial reasons presented more issues than first envisaged. While we understood that there would be some inaccuracies associated with the process, we didn't anticipate that there would also be an element of ballooning of the canopy. While the ballooning has little overall effect on the aesthetics of the canopy, it has presented some fundamental issues where the canopy meets the forward windscreen quarter panels and the front support hoop. This resulted in the remanufacture of the rear coupe base plate and roller tracks to match the slightly steeper sides of the canopy. A new canopy front support hoop and a new set of quarter panels and hoop to match the exact profile of the blown canopy. Coupled with the harsh winter conditions experienced at the workshop location the project suffered a setback in the production schedule by a couple of months. However, the enforced downtime was not spent idle. The Whirlwind Fighter Project Workshop continued the project's progress, producing many patterns, castings and components required for the rear fuselage and the tail assemblies. More on this in the next update. The new quarter panels required a new former to match to the canopy profile. The former being manufactured from plywood with an aluminium skin, covered with pure wool felt to prevent the panels sticking or marking from the former. High output infrared heaters being employed to heat the perspex to 120 degrees C allowing the perspex to be drape formed. The rear of the coupe canopy assembly is constructed with a heavy aluminium subframe and tail fairing. The fairing is removable allowing access to the joining bolts at the top of the cockpit fuselage joint at frame 10. The lower sides of the coupe canopy are fitted with valance skirts that cover and protect the canopy to fuse a large slideway from water and grit ingress. The Whirlwind Fighter Project is a not-for-profit charity run by a group of dedicated volunteers. If you feel you could assist in recreating this iconic World War II fighter, please visit our Facebook and web pages. Any donations can be made through our GoFundMe page. Also, please visit our active partner in the Whirlwind Fighter Project and future home of the Whirlwind, the Kent Battle of Britain Museum. Many thanks.